Hey, yo, everybody. We are here today with yet another unboxing video. And I guess today is just kind of a random pickups. So not necessarily uh, everything will be gaming related or Mega Man related for that matter. But we have, ah, oh, shit, my head hit the freaking hit the light. But anyway, let's put the drink aside, huh? We got a box. We got a box. And in this box is uh, just a bunch of crap that was sent to me uh, from the US of A. Hot damn. Got a lot of stuff in here. I already see uh, one of those Fritos or something. We got some Fritos. You guys like Fritos? They're okay. I'm not like a big Frito guy or anything. Wasn't expecting them. But we got Fritos, the original corn chips. There you go. Why don't we take a seat? But anyway, let's see. We got uh, we got some Cheetos. The crunchy kind. I guess they're all crunchy. Alright. We got some more Cheetos. That's not that interesting. Uh, anyway, we got some other stuff, though. They didn't all Cheetos and Fritos. It's like, it's Christmas going on in here. What the hell? Okay, I, I, actually, I was not expecting pancakes and maple syrup jelly beans. Ugh. What do we got? Holy hot thing. Damn. So this, this was a request from moi. I asked for banana Laffy Taffy. So I used to like this when I was a kid. Banana Laffy Taffy. They're firm, right? Got a nice firm grip on them. Anyway, you got, uh, you got jokes in every wrapper. Probably some really bad jokes, you know, worse than mine, and that's saying something. Put these over here. Uh, we'll open that. That's some Japanese sweets inside of here. We'll open them and we'll probably try one. Why not? I'm not gonna try everything. What do you want me to get fat? I'm not gonna try everything, but I'll try uh, one of these in a moment. So we got some American stuff in here, and we got some Japanese stuff in there coming up. In just a moment. Oh, we got a tote bag. I don't know if I'd wanna walk around town with this tote bag, but it's cute, I guess. We got a bunch of different cats. The Sphinx cat. The Persian, the uh, uh, Abysnian. What in the hell is this? Oh, I... oh, it makes sounds. It's like Primal Rage. What's his name in uh, Primal Rage? We got uh, Diablos. Diablos from Primal Rage. Actually, this, I don't know if this is actually uh, Diabolus from Primal Rage, but we're gonna say it is. Just because that makes it a little bit cooler, right? Frickin' dinosaur. Hot damn. There you go. Got some, what the hell is this? It's got something going on down here. Well, that's interesting. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> ah, that's pretty interesting. Captain America thing. Something with Captain America. I wasn't expecting this. Okay, well, this is... Oh, oh, it's just a bag, it's just a bag. <laughs> so we had some uh, dental bag covering peeps, which would do the exact opposite of what those dental tools would have done. We have donut shop coffee peeps. Coffee flavored peeps. It feels like it's probably food again. It's probably more food. Let's see. It feels like gummies. 
Oh, hot damn, we got Happy Gummies. Super Gummy Mix. This brand of gummies is pretty damn good, guys. It's a little bit of happiness in a bag. A little pricey, but trust me, if you can find uh, this brand of gourmet gummies, probably the best gummies I've ever had. And they, uh, but just know the exact assortment and size may vary a bit. We have some more of them too. We got, this one's a bunch of bears. Look at that, a bunch of gummy bears. Oh, and we got 12 amazing flavors. Pineapple, mango, pink grapefruit, lemon, wild cherry, green apple, orange, grape, strawberry, whole bunch of flavors. Uh, we got a bunch of random stickers. We have Deadpool. Uh, anyone else in there? I can't really tell. Some chick I don't know. Maybe that's Scarlet Witch, I don't know. I think I see a sand, maybe that's Sandman back there. Ah, oh, that's more like it. That's more like it. Forget about these guys. Gambit. That's, that's the best one already. He is my favorite of the X-Men, uh, at least in the comics. You know, uh, Gambit in the movie, Wolverine Origins, that sucked an ass. But, oh, we have Mega Man stuff. We have Mega Mints. Hot damn. Natural and artificial peppermint flavors. You got both. Some freaking Mega Man mints. Let's take a look inside. They're like little e-tanks. You can get your breath fresh. Energize your breath with some e-tanks, some Mega Mints. That's pretty dope. I want to try them, and at the same time, I don't want to open them. And more gummies. Ugh. I'm gonna have to skip, I'll skip some of the food, because I think, you know, you guys don't need to see a bunch of food from uh, your local Walmart, right? So we'll get to the more interesting stuff. Ugh. We got a big one. You know, let me move the Japanese, uh, snacks out of the way for a moment and uh let's open this box all right what do we got maybe oh shit let's move this let's get this out of the way that was a very close call ah <laughs> oh, god hot damn Something that I've been wanting for a very long time. Ugh. For a very, very long time, it is the Mezco 112 Gambit. Brand new, never opened. Freaking Gambit. The best X-Men. Everyone can relax. Gambit has returned. Let's take a closer look at the Mezco 112 Gambit. We'll take a quick look at what is inside. We'll take a quick look at the goods. Should open from the bottom, right? I'm starting to make that a thing. Opening them, opening them from the bottom. It's probably the way to go, I think. Damn, this is probably the best Gambit figure there is. Um, I had the Amazing Yamaguchi, that was okay. I got rid of it though. It was all right. Some of them are pretty good, but the Amazing Yamaguchis have this really unique style. Um, I'm not always a fan of. Look how good that shit looks. Got the Rage and Cajun. Holy mother freaking balls, dude. Take off the plastic. The 
freaking raging Cajun. Look how damn good this figure looks. Oh, I'm really excited to have this. There is no reason why Gambit cannot have his outfit in any movie that he might appear in in the future. No reason at all. This outfit just works perfectly, right? It's so good. And I think it even retains like some kind of like modern flair that they kind of like to give the characters in the movies. This outfit has it all. This outfit just works perfectly. You could just slap this outfit on him in the movies. There you go. It's already perfect. You don't need to do anything. God damn. I do love the, uh, the details they add, though. Here on the tights. That's pretty cool. Something about Gambit's outfit just works. It shouldn't work. But it all comes together just perfectly. The coolest character in all of comic books, in my opinion. How could you watch the animated series and not come away a giant fan of Gambit? You just can't. You can't do it, right? So yeah, I'm not going to unbox everything, but we got a whole bunch of accessories. You got, you know, a bunch of different cool card effects. We'll take this one out. Lots of cool kinetic energy throwing card effects. You got some cards, you got a bunch of hands, you got an extra head. This one looks like it's uh oh, oops. Looks like it's uh you got a smirking face. What happened? Where's that hand? Where'd that go? Oh there we are. Oh it's a little card. Pick a card. That was more like Wolverine, sorry. I can't do Gambit, alright? can't do Gambit. I'm not going to attempt to do Gambit, even though I just did. Mezco makes the best stands. These are really good. Unlike McFarlane, who gives you that little tiny black freaking shit stand that doesn't do anything. These, these are really good stands. Good size. Good size. This should be the minimum a stand base should be, I think. It's really good. All right, I can make that look better later. But there you go. Throwing a card. Throwing a card, one of me. Uh, these are clothes. Hot damn. We have uh, Alice in Chains poster thingy. Son of Man, Tuesday, September 18th, 1990. In the Gothic Theater of Denver, Colorado. Showtime, 7 p.m. in Mission 10 dollars. Must have been quite the show. This is pretty cool. So this is actually, this is my favorite American band, Alice in Chains. So that's pretty dope. And that shows you my age a little bit, I guess. Oh, this one's interesting. I got a envelope. Ah, ho, ho, okay. So I ordered some comics. Some American comics off of eBay for my uh, my figure display. Not the one that you've probably seen over by my computer, but the one in my bedroom that you haven't seen. Uh, mixing it up, I'm gonna do something different and it's gonna involve comic books. So we got here the Gambit miniseries. I believe this actually has all the Gambit miniseries. The Gambit four issue mini series all four issues so I'm actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use probably this one or one of them and I'm gonna put them behind the figure in my uh, figure display over in my bedroom in my bedroom closet which maybe I'll do an apartment video once that's all done or something there we go this tape kind of sucks uh, let me get this tape off. Oh shit, oh shit, no. All four issues of the Gambit mini series. And you know what, I actually might. I don't know, I, it's been a long time, I don't even remember it. So I might actually read all four issues using the actual comics. That'd be a nostalgia trip. Ha 
packages and packages. Oh, hot. oh my god. What is this? <laughs> okay, this one, I'm gonna tell you right now, this one is pretty cool. This is actually a pretty rare uh, variant cover of a comic. Bam. So this is the uh, San Diego Comic-Con, I don't remember which year. Exclusive cover to the Mega Man Master Mix. But you got a Days of Future Past thing going on. So I love X-Men. X-Men is probably my second favorite uh, franchise in terms of just like any, you know, any media. If we're going by any media and not just games, Mega Man, X-Men. So, hey, you got both. Days of Future Past Mega Man going on here. Role playing the role of Kitty Pride and Mega Man, the role of Wolverine, the Days of Future Past homage cover of the Master Mix. This was quite, uh, this was pricey actually. It's like $100. But I really, really wanted to have this cover this artwork this is going to go in my uh one of my mega man displays i'm going to put it behind a big mega man and it's going to look pretty cool pretty damn sweet congrats dennis thanks comic corner 84 so this is from comic corner 84 over at ebay oh, trying not to bend them comic cover 84 Ah. Right, so I guess I got a, another Mega Man. This one was cheap. This was a cheaper one. Um, is this more? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it is. Bam. Freaking X-Men. We got X-Men with the Jim Lee artwork. One of the iconic Jim Lee covers. So this is issue number 11. It's a really cool one. Wolverine, got Gambit, Rogue, Cyclops, Jubilee, Psylocke, and Beast. Not, surprisingly, not that expensive either. This is one of the more inexpensive covers, so this is why I picked this one up. Plus, it looks cool. This is gonna go in my X-Men display behind my uh, Mezco Wolverine. That'll be coming in the near future with the uh, Sentinel base. So that's gonna be pretty wicked. Venom. So you got Venom and Carnage, bam, bam. So I actually already have a, a cool Venom figure and a, and, a, and a cool Carnage figure. So I'm gonna put this comic behind them. I only read a couple issues of this Donny Crates uh, Venom, but it was pretty good. It's pretty good so far. I, I need to continue reading. Oh, we, holy moly, cow the moly. We got something heavy. I think this is uh, a book that I ordered. It's actually, it's not an expensive book, but it would have been a hell of a lot more money for me to uh, ship it to Japan than to have it included in a package that my family was with or without me asking, they will send a package. So might as well have them throw something in. Uh, and we got get, get out of here. Holy moly. We have the X-Men art and making of the animated series. So for a lot of people, and uh, probably including myself, even though my brother did have, is this dirt? Or is that just a part of the, I think it's dirty. Yeah, it's definitely dirt, man. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. I'll try to clean it up later. But anyway, like uh, like I was saying, my brother had a few comics, you know, my older brother. But I think what got me super, super into the X-Men was a combination of Capcom fighting games and the animated series of the X-Men, as well as that arcade game, the Konami arcade game. So, X-Men. 
I would say I'm looking forward to them being in the movies, but I'm going to be honest, I'm really, uh, I haven't been digging the movies that much these days. They're too much like comedies to me, but and I'm not looking forward to what they do to the X-Men. One thing that was great about this series was they had just these big arc and storylines that were pretty faithful uh, to the comic books. Uh, unlike being like, you know, Monster of the Week episode by episode, they had these big arc and storylines, uh, which Fox kind of uh, screwed up a little bit because they would play episodes out of order. But nonetheless, it is one of the best animated series based on a comic book uh, to this day, along with Batman and the Spawn series, which unfortunately ended too soon. Ah, there they are. My favorite X-Men characters. You got Rogue, who is infinitely better than the crappy Rogue from the movie. I absolutely hate that Rogue. My god. I'm really looking forward to reading through this. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. We'll be here for... This is a big freaking book. How many pages is this? This is like, uh, 280 something pages of X-Men goodness. You have all sorts of art. You have all sorts of information about the making of the cartoon. I believe this is, uh, the intro. Oh, this is pretty sweet. We had like a storyboard of the intro. The classic, iconic intro with that kick-ass theme music. All on display here, shot by shot. That is pretty damn cool. Ah, I love looking at like shot lists. So we got the freaking music. Look, you got the music, the main theme of the X-Men. I'm really hoping when the X-Men are in the MCU that they're not gonna completely f it all up. Anyway, you got a lot of cool X-Men artwork going on in here. I can't wait to thoroughly look through all this. Through all this. Through, I don't know if the alcohol is getting to my speech. We only got a couple more guys. Which is good, this is not supposed to go on too long. I am probably going to uh, skip some things and I make this a little bit of a quicker video. This does not need to be an hour. This is wasn't even a planned video, but a big box arrived. I figured, hey, let's get a, let's do a video. Why not? While my computer takes four hours to uh, move some files from a micro SD card to the main hard drive. Anyway, so something I love that you probably hate. Some black licorice. Time for uh, Japanese snacks. What do we got in here? You might be wondering. Well, let me show you. Well, let me show you. I'll show you what's going on. Hot damn, some nice packaging as usual. Japan in the fancy nice packaging. So we got mochi. You guys like mochi? Which one should we try? Which ones? Which ones? Which ones? Which one? Which ones? Which ones? <laughs> God damn. Pineapple. Oh, we got pineapple. We got raspberry. We got lots and lots of flavors. Uh, maybe I'll try strawberry, but gosh damn. My favorite fruit is definitely raspberry. Yeah, it's strawberry with some kind of like white cream. Strawberry with some of the chocolate cream. You got uh, a chestnut. You got kiwi. You got apple. You got grape. You got melon. And you got uh, orange or a mekon. They're kind of like a, man, they're like a little orange. Anyway, they're basically oranges. Um, and, yeah. And then you got some fancy, uh, fancy ones over here. But that's not what's here. So, I'm kind of in a strawberry mood. So you know what, we're gonna go with the strawberry. We're gonna stop, you know, fiddling around with our butts. We're just gonna eat one. 
I try all of them for you, but you know. Wait, you want you want to kill me? You're trying to kill me over here? Here we go. Here's the grand finale of this unboxing. We have some mochi. Pretty damn good. Let me tell you. Holy crap. God damn. Creamy. Strawberry uh, E. You're gonna have to try some of this mochi if you ever come to Japan or if you're already in Japan. I know a couple of you are. And I know some of you plan on coming here once they open up the borders. You're gonna have to get some uh, some mochi, some strawberry mochi. Oh, damn it. Oh shit. My expiration date's like real soon. I'm gonna have to eat all these. I'm gonna have to hit the bicycle. Freaking A. Which I probably should be doing anyway. Anyways, so uh, Excuse me for not using uh, the side camera a little more in the beginning of the video. Just kind of weaning it. Unplanned unboxing. It's nothing fancy. I just, a box arrived and I figured, hey, why not do an unboxing video of all the stuff uh, that's inside. There's some, there's some cool stuff. You know, we got comic books. We got, uh, we even had Mega Man stuff with mints. And we had uh, some cool figures. And we had some Japanese sweets to take a look at yeah so yeah we had a lot of good stuff uh like i said this uh this light just turned off so i guess i gotta wrap it up thanks for watching and if you liked this video leave a like and if you didn't like it well hey you made it this far so i don't really care <laughs> why are you still watching this is like the end of the video it's probably pretty long but you know what Cheers to you. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys on the next video, which is coming out real soon. Until then, Den Den, signing off. I'm going to eat a second one. I'm going to try the raspberry. Might as well do it on camera. There's no point of not doing it on camera. You know what I mean, baby. Okay. God damn it. <sighs> Raspberry. That mushy, look at that dust. I'll get it all over your hands. Just rub it, rub that dust all over yourself. Oh shit. Anyway. <laughs> so here we go. No. Oh. So it's like a chocolate mochi, the raspberry filling inside. Look at that raspberry. Look at that gooey raspberry going on. Oh, you got so much. Oh, oh. sorry.